Okay, so I've got a question here. Is there a solution to this quadratic residue question? Is there an x that will give us x squared congruent with 411 mod 2587? Now this is a really big number. I'm not really sure if it's prime or not. So I'm going to go into Jacobi notation because the difference is if Legenda is prime and it's Jacobi if it's not prime. So manipulating the numbers using these rules is the way we're going to go. So I'm going to write this as 4112587. Now I can flip it or I can break this up into composite numbers. So I've got here ABP or APBP. So I can see 411 divided by 3, so I'm going to go that route. So now I've got 3, 2, 5, 8, 7, and then the number of 3s in 411 go 137. So let's put that down as 137, 2, 5, 8, 7. So that takes care of that. So now I've really got two symbols going along at the same time. And then the manipulation of both of these will combine to give me my answer. So now I've got a three in the top and two, five, eight, seven in the bottom. So quite simply this one, I'm just gonna flip it. So I'm gonna write that as two, five, eight, seven and a three. This one here, I'm gonna do the same. So two, five, eight, seven, one, three, seven. Now, do I need to put a minus one in front of here? So when I flip it, I need A and P congruent with three mod four to put a minus one. If any of these cases is, is not shown, then I just leave it as the positive. Well, three is congruent with uh, three mod four. So that's the case. And 2587 as well is congruent with 3 mod 4. So I've got one minus one sign here. And what about 137? Is that congruent with 3 mod 4? Well, 4 times 37, that's going to give me 136. So that's not congruent. So it's just one minus one sign I need here. OK. So now let's just deduct multiples of 3 from 2,587. So let's just have a look what that would give us. So 2,587 divided by 3. So 3's into 2,587. So I've got 8, 6, and then 8 into 7 give me 2, and then 1 left over. So I've got 1 left here. So I've got a minus 1 and a 1, 3. What about this one? 2587, 137. So a multiple of 137 deducted by that. So 137, if I multiply that by 18, I've got 1370. And then 8137s, that's going to give me, let's have a look, 1370 minus 274. So another 1370 minus 2. 274. So that's going to give me 2740 minus 274. So that's going to give me 2426. Uh, 2466. Okay. So therefore, left over in here, I've got 121. So if I subtract that from that, so now I've got 121137. OK, let's simplify this up. So we've got minus 1, that stays. 1, 3, well, that has a solution. So that's a 1. And this one here, 121, I can see that that is a square number. So now I've got 11 squared, 1, 3, 7. So using this rule here, if there is a square in the top, it's definitely got a solution. So that's going to be a 1. So now I've got minus 1, a 1, and a 1 which gives me minus one. So therefore this has got no solutions. So this symbol here is minus one. So there's no solutions. Okay.